This is Dr. Kevin Barber presenting a case of uh, femtosecond uh, laser-assisted uh, cataract surgery with the use of an Alcon Panoptics Toric lens. So you can see the uh, femtosecond laser treatment has already been applied. This is hydrodissection being performed with a chain cannula. I prefer the chain cannula because it uh, the 90 degree angle allows for sub-incisional and near sub-incisional hydrodissection. Here we are with phaco emulsification using the Alcon Centurion unit, clearing some working space by removing the viscoelastic and now creating a central groove. Using the second instrument and the phaco needle to crack the nucleus and then going posterior to the lens material with the second instrument and bringing the nucleus into the central safety zone, being mindful to keep the phaco needle in the central safety zone. I prefer to phaco at the iris plane, not deep in the capsular bag, so I found this to be very safe. Again, rotating the nucleus so that the fragment that I am aiming to remove is directly across from my phaco needle and bringing it to the central safety zone at the iris plane. We'll then use a second instrument to rotate the nucleus and again chopping from behind or posterior to the lens. At this point, we have removed the majority of the lens, so we'll begin to use the second instrument uh, beneath the lens material to provide a protection for the posterior capsule, attempting to keep the Connor wand or the second instrument posterior to the phaco needle again, offering additional protection. This is a 45 degree irrigation aspiration tip, stripping the cortex towards the center can see the vacuum building to just under 600. Left the sub-incisional cortex for last. This is rotating the 45 degree tip posteriorly and then bringing it laterally as I strip it towards the center. We now will remove any remaining dispersive viscoelastic as we will perform aura intraoperative aberometry in this case. We will now uh, attempt a full uh, and complete fill of a viscocohesive viscoelastic. We will check the pressure with applination, which is important when doing uh, aura intraoperative aberometry. You can see the aura measurements here that have verified the uh, axis and magnitude of astigmatism. So this patient has elected for a panoptics lens. We will be using a T4 version or toric version of this lens. Use the Connor wand or the second instrument to properly position the lens implant. Striving for good centration and then using the or a device to verify proper torque alignment of the lens. This is Trimoxy made by Imprimis Pharmaceuticals. It is a combination of triamcinolone and moxifloxacin that I just injected transzonularly into the anterior vitreous. As I perform a dropless cataract surgery, my patients do not take drops postoperatively. Irrigation aspiration has then been used to remove the viscoelastic material. We'll use an irrigating cannula to do the fine adjustment to the toric lens. And that concludes this case. Thank you for watching.